This is Dr. Bragg with a tip for a pain-free Friday. It's March Madness, and so this month, I want you to embrace the madness and follow these seven strategies to a healthier life and strategies that will help you decrease your pain. I want you to think about the word madness, and the first letter in madness is M. So take the time to make someone smile. Why is that important? Because we know that laughter is a natural pain killer. And when you laugh, you release endorphins, which help to relieve pain. A, I want you to activate the endorphins through exercise. Again, endorphins are gonna help you not to be depressed and to have a better mood and to feel better about things. So you want to activate endorphins by exercising. And D, do something good for somebody else. Basically, that means showing gratitude. There are seven health benefits to gratitude. You can go to my website, knockoutpain.com, and pull down the article that I have written about the seven health benefits of gratitude. But gratitude decreases stress, decreases blood pressure if you have high blood pressure, and it also decreases depression. So do something good for somebody else and in nurture your body. So why don't you become the CEO of your body? When you go to the doctor, you want to be able to express to them what is wrong with you, knowing your medication so that you can have a better dialogue with them and better be in better position to nurture your body because you are the CEO of your body. So please look back at one of my previous YouTubes and you will see where I gave you a 30 second template that helps to enhance the time and that you have with your doctor so that you can have a beneficial visit with your doctor. And E, exercise at least four times a week. What are the benefits of exercise? You're gonna be able to strengthen your bones and your muscles, and exercise also helps with your mood, decrease stress as well, and it's gonna help maintain your weight. And S, sleep. How important sleep is. Studies have shown that we need to sleep anywhere from six to nine hours a day. And a recent study has said that if you only get four to five hours of sleep a day, guess what? You're increasing your risk of dementia. So it's easy, sleep. Get that six to nine hours each night so that you keep your body well nourished, you keep your body relaxed and decrease your risk of dementia. And the last S in madness is stretch. It's important to stretch so that you can stretch your muscles and maintain your full range of uh, motion and get rid of some of the tension that you feel in your neck and in your back. I have previously given you on other YouTubes stretches that you should do every morning. And I still recommend that you do those stretches every day. So it's March Madness. Take control of your health by following these seven steps. And I hope that you embrace the madness, embrace these seven steps so that you can live longer, happier, and have less pain. Now please share this with a friend and subscribe below.